All right, so here in this video, we're going to talk about finding the Laplace transform of cosine kt. This is a standard result. You're just really going to memorize this after we do it, and then a bunch of other functions, you're just going to memorize the result. But just to go through a computation like this one time is good for the soul. As one of my old mentors used to say, computation is good for the soul. All right, so our example says find the Laplace transform of f of t equals cosine kt. So the only thing we really got to remember here is that the Laplace transform definition is the integral from 0 to infinity f of t e to the negative st dt. All right, so to do this integral, we're going to have to integrate e to the negative st times cosine so that every calculus student knows is going to be a whole lot of fun. So what we're going to get is the Laplace transform of cosine kt equals integral from 0 to infinity cosine kt e to the negative st dt. All right, so what we got to do to integrate this function, we know that this integral is going to be done by parts, but actually we have to do it by parts twice. All right, so to do our integration by parts, I'm going to pick a u. u is going to be cosine. I'll just pick cosine because I like to differentiate cosine more than I like to integrate cosine. And dv, I'm going to pick e to the negative st dt. So differentiate u, get du is equal to negative k sine kt. Integrate to get v, we get negative 1 over s e to the negative st. All right, so that's going to give us negative 1 over s e to the negative st cosine of kt. That's going to go from 0 to infinity. Let's see, minus, minus, minus is going to be minus integral 0 to infinity. 1 over s e to the negative st sine of kt dt. All right, so let's evaluate this first term. Plug in infinity. Actually, don't plug it in. We take the limit, but as the limit goes to infinity, this term is going to go to zero. So this is just going to be zero plus, and then plug in zero. It's going to be one, one, so just plus one over s minus one over s times the integral 0 to infinity sine of kt e to the negative st dt. Now we're going to do parts again. So I'm going to pick u equals sine kt. Oh, I lost my k. Sorry, it should be a k. k right here. This should be then a k over s. All right, so we pick u equals sine of kt, dv is going to equal e to the negative st dt, and then du is going to be k cosine kt, v is going to be negative 1 over s e to the negative st. So it's going to equal 0 plus 1 over s minus k over s times, now here's what we do, uv minus integral v to u. So uv is going to be negative 1 over s e to the negative st sine of kt going from 0 to infinity minus minus is going to be plus k over s integral 0 to infinity cosine kt e to the negative st dt. And actually, that's just k over s Laplace of cosine kt. So actually, this equation then, after we plug in these bounds, is going to become Laplace of cosine kt equals 1 over s 
minus k over s times plug in the bounds this is going to go to zero so this is going to go to zero and then when i plug in t equals zero sine of zero is zero so this is going to be zero plus zero now i have plus k over s and now this thing is just laplace of cosine kt again so laplace of cosine kt all right so simplifying we see that laplace cosine kt appears on both sides we're just going to solve for that we get laplace of cosine kt equal to 1 over s minus k squared over s squared Laplace of cosine kt. Now we just move this negative k squared over s squared to the left. Factor out Laplace of cosine kt. We get Laplace of cosine kt times 1 plus k squared over s squared equals 1 over s. So then Laplace of cosine kt. It's going to be equal to 1 over s over 1 plus k squared over s squared. And now we're going to multiply top and bottom here by s squared. So let's multiply here s squared, s squared. This is going to give us s over s squared plus k squared. And that is the Laplace transform of cosine kt. So that's going to be one that you want to memorize. You're not going to do this every time you need Laplace transform of cosine kt. It's just, it's just too long. So similarly, this one's just a little extra. Laplace of sine of kt, you'll get k over s squared plus k squared. So actually, they're very similar. Sine has the constant on the top. Cosine has the variable on the top, but that's the, that's the only difference. The integration is similar. You arrive at a similar result, but not exactly the same. So that's how we find Laplace transform of cosine kt using definition.